Hello my friends, welcome back to Craft Hoarder over here on YouTube, our own crazy little crafty corner of the universe. Uh, we are back with another Dreamer Designs unboxing, uh, one of my favorite diamond painting companies. Um, I do affiliate with them, so there will be a link below. Um, if you click on it, you save you 15%. I make a few bucks that goes back into the channel for more content. Um, today I have a kit that as of the filming of this video has been out of stock for quite a while. I purchased this as a reward for myself for finishing my first semester of school. And I purchased it, I logged it into my gems flow and I gave it off to my grandma. And I just completed finals, um, let's see, two weeks ago now, I just finished finals. So I got it back. Um, I'm super excited about it. Um, I haven't seen it come back in stock, but by the time this post, it, it might. So just put it on your watch list because um, it might. It, it sold out pretty quickly. It was pretty popular. Um, this is called Dream Home. And it is a Dreamer Designs canvas. Um, one thing that I love about Dreamer Designs is... Uh, boxes is this carrying handle on the outside of the box that is great for if you stack things on top of each other on like a shelf and you need an easy way to grab it you've got a little handle that you can kind of pull out with or you can travel with it it's a really nice feature of their boxes so i really do like that and their outer packaging um, we see the dreamer designs logo the uh, QR code for 15% off. Again, there's a link down below too. Uh, features of the canvas. Rated E for everyone. And white a diamond paint. And then on the bottom is where you'll see the artist's work here. And I just loved this. It reminded me so much of The Hobbit. And I am a J.R.R. Tolkien nerd. Um, <laughs> I love that fantasy stuff. I am a nerd of, there's like two things that I follow like religiously. It's The Hobbit and Lord of the Rings, you know, and all of those, like The Similarian and all of those other books that go with it. And then Harry Potter is my other one. So I'm really excited about this one because it reminds me of The Hobbit. And again, this one has been out of stock for a while. Um, but I just got it back as a reward. So we're going to open this up and take a look. See, so when you open up the box, you'll see this fabric dust cover in there. It is a reusable drawstring bag, which is kind of nice. You can use it to transport back and forth. Don't be too hard on it because it is pretty thin. I mean, you can see right through it. It's pretty thin. Um... Don't be too hard on it if you want to reuse it, but it's nice that it's a reusable, sustainable thing. Dreaming Designs on the bottom of it. And then anybody who has ever watched any of my other unboxings of Dreamer Designs will know that I am obsessed with the material that they use in these bags. Oh, just such butter softness. So soft. It's like, I don't know. I, I can't even describe it. It's, it. I need sheets made out of this stuff. I don't even know what it is, and I want sheets out of it. It's just wonderful. Um, so this is the toolkit here that we are getting into. And in the toolkit, there it is. Okay. In the toolkit, we have a set of plastic bags. These are a little bit on the thin side, but they're still thicker than some of my um, budget kits that I have. And they give you those super thin ones. But these are, these are pretty thin, um, but they're still sturdy enough to use in my long-term spare drill storage. Um, you get two pens. One of them is your standard pen. The other pen has this plastic tip on it, which is supposed to be really good at picking up uh, the AB drills. Um, you get some multi-placer 
tips. I believe that's a three and I think that's a six placer. So you get two multi-placing tips and then you also get a straightener that you can use to straighten your drills up, which is nice. You get two purple squishes because there's two pens. You also get two pots of their purple wax with the Dreamer Designs logo on them. And they have nice thick pats in there of the wax. This does have, um, if I can get it to come up, a thin plastic film, which doesn't want to cooperate with me. A thin plastic film on the outside, so be sure to take that off before you load your pen, or your pen won't load and you could damage the tip. Um, you also get a pair of murder tweezers, which are deadly sharp. Ooh, and these ones are pretty, like, close together. But those are super sharp. They will stick into your foot if you let it. So keep your cover on. <coughs> Excuse me. The um, tray divider here kind of looks like it's frosted, but it is a clear acrylic tray divider. I just got to get the little plastic cover off. Uh, one second. Okay, so it does have this um, plastic film on it, like what you would find like that comes on like your appliances or something. I got the one side off and then you just peel off the other side and it's a crystal clear acrylic tray divider, which is nice. You can just pop right in there and then you can have multiple colors in the same tray. Um, this tray does have some nice deep grooves and it's got that nice gold fleck in that purple, so it's really pretty. Back of it says Dreamer Designs. Front is where you would pour out, and then that just snaps back in place. So it's got like a built-in stopper. Yeah, really pretty purple color. And you don't have to use the divider in there, but take it out and you got one big tray. Um, so that is the toolkit, and that's pretty standard in every kit that I've opened up from them. So I'm building up quite the collection of these little bags. And who knows, maybe someday I might try to do something crafty with them because I do love the materials so much. We'll see. Okay, so moving on to our kit here. Wait, what? Move that box out of the way so it's not in my way when I go and roll the canvas. So we have our canvas that has all oh, my purple ribbons a little messy. That's okay. Two bags of drills there. And I'm looking to see if I can get this sticker sheet easily, which I don't think I can without unrolling this because it's like in the middle here. So let's take a look at our canvas first, or at least the wrapping on it. So it always comes tied in this beautiful purple ribbon, which my end is a little messy, but that's okay. It just keeps the canvas closed and it's really pretty, just satin purple. All right, let me grab the sticker sheet out of the middle of this thing. And then we'll go through the drills and then we'll look at the canvas. So this is the pamphlet inside with your instructions. Paint with passion is their motto. Uh, thank you for your purchase love letter, uh, tips and tricks instructions, 15% off QR code, um, and then on the back is their socials. You can join their Dreamer Designs community Facebook page. Um, there's a lot of fun chats and pictures in there of people's work. 
and works in progress and it's just a nice little community they do also do um events through there um they have one currently um that is the uh 2023 drill along that they're doing and they give away prizes in there they also give away um prizes for like how well you contribute to the page so it's a fun little group that i recommend joining um this is our sticker log sheet so there is our artist work it is by mikey bergman 90 by 60 start date and end date dream home is the title then you got some fun little stickers here the i love diamond painting sticker this is your inventory sheet so all of your colors here there are 62 colors in here and one two three four five six ab's if i'm counting that correctly one two three four five yep six um so that's going to be a lot of really pretty sparkle to it lots of blues in this canvas it looks like so this will be fun um i use the little sticker pieces for putting into my paper log book um i keep track in gemslow app too but i do like the paper log book and if you've never signed up for their reward system before I do highly recommend that you earn like cash back points that you can redeem for like future purchases where you can get percentages off um, or amounts off. So it's really nice. Um, their drills do come labeled with the canvas name so that you can store them separately if you do that. And we are going to take a look at these. and see oh boy there's a lot of 310 in this one look at that right on the outside one two three four five bags of 310 that's a lot of black in this picture Whee! black is not my friend so there's a lot of black in this but that's okay it'll be fun i don't have a lot of black in most of my canvases so it'll be a, a challenge change of pace challenge it'll be all right Take a look at these together. Lots of dark blues and blues in there too. Really pretty color palette. Very excited to see what's going on here. Okay, so we've got a lot of greens. Which makes sense. It's kind of like a hobbit hole, right? So lots of greens. Very shire feeling. Lots of blues. Some bright blues in there too. That's a pretty like robin egg blue. And like a mint green there. So there's some brights in here. Ooh, butter yellow right there. Or like a cream color, I guess you would call it. Oh, my. So they do have some really good, um, like, I would say like top notch uh, square shapes uh, drills. They're very even and consistent. They do have some trash in them, but every company does. Um, they are resin drills, so you know you may have like the bubbles and the small imperfections occasionally, um, but they're a lot shinier than the acrylic drills. So there's, I'm not gonna go through all of the colors here, but I do wanna find, let's see, I think I just found all the AVs. One, two, three, four, five, six, I did. Okay, they are very smooth in consistency though, so this is their regular drills, and they are very smooth. There's not a lot of trash, there is some, but not a lot. And also not a lot of static in their bags, which is always really nice. Very consistent drills. So here we have a purple AB, like a deep purple AB. We have an orange pumpkin AB. We have this beautiful mint green AB, just absolutely beautiful. A bit of a deeper blue AB. This is more of a olive green AB. It shows up as like a Kelly green on the camera, but it's more of an olive. And then my favorite, butter yellow AB. I'm not even a yellow person, but I do love that one a lot for some reason. 
AB stands for Aurora Borealis, and it's that extra iridescent coating on there that just makes them sparkle. It brings some highlighting to your art, um, kind of draws attention. This mint green is really pretty. This might be a new favorite here, because green is my favorite color. And that minty green is really pretty as an AB. Um, just acts as like a highlight, brings focus to certain areas of the canvas um, so that you can, and it's just, it's kind of like putting highlighter on your makeup, you know, you highlight certain areas of your face, same thing on your canvas, right? Except I don't use highlighter, I don't use makeup, but I do use ABs in my canvas and I love them. So here's the rest of our colors, lots of golds, greens, some just very earthy tones, lots of blues. And I don't want to dig them all out because I do like to have everything in the original packaging and these are kind of hard to put back in the bag so I'm actually glad I opened this one. Um, normally I don't get that lucky but I'm glad I did open this one. So it had all of our specials on it. And I'm going to set those off to the side so you can take a look at this canvas. And I will put those back in the package afterwards. Okay, so Diamond Art Club, all of their canvas or all of their artwork is licensed. So if that matters to you, they are safe, one of the safe ones to buy from. Um, if it doesn't matter to you, they're still amazing to buy from. I love them. So there you go. Uh, I, they are also all poured glue canvases, so it is safe to roll them backwards, and I just kind of do this to help it lay flat. They do have a self-flattening feature, but I'm too impatient to wait for it on camera, so. I just kind of roll them backwards to help them lay a little bit flatter. The other thing that I do to help them lay a little bit flatter, and if there's any wrinkles like that in the canvas, is to peel the cover back, the cover plastic back a little bit to help it kind of relax, which we are going to do right now. just kind of relaxes the canvas because it can get stretched and wrinkled from you know shipping and being rolled up in its package all nice and tight so I just help it lay a little bit flatter the cover sheet that's on this is a little bit thinner than what I'm used to from dreamer designs it's still it's still pretty thick but it is a little bit thinner than what I'm used to seeing from that. But it's not super thin and it's not super crinkly, so I'm not minding it. All right, let's take a look at that. Does that not just remind you of The Hobbit right there? Like, that is just so cute. It's like a total Shire picture. I'm going to back this up and see if I can get more of it in frame. Almost all of it. Not quite. Okay. We're going to raise up and I'll see you back in just a second for a full frame shot. Okay. So that is as much in frame as I can possibly get. And the camera is like way over my head. So it's a pretty decent size, but it is a beautiful image. And it definitely holds some Shire vibes for me. Um, I love it. That's like one of my favorite stories is The Hobbit and Lord of the Rings. So yeah, I just love it. All right, I'm going to bring this back down so that this is not super awkward and uncomfortable for me to look at. And I will see you in a second. Okay, we are back, zoomed back in here. Let's take a look at the glue on this canvas. Beautiful stick. And it's a nice soft glue, so no issues with um, moving things around once they've been set. Um, it will it will hold if they've been sitting for too long. It'll hold really really well, and I've never had any issues with 
drills popping once they've completed a piece. And, you know, if you do, it's a lifetime warranty. So get in touch with customer service. But I've never had to get in touch with them over that. So the back of the canvas, I don't know if you can tell, is this really soft lint canvas backing. It is surged all the way around, so there's no fraying. The front side is a nice, smooth, soft plastic coating on it, so there's no... Um, discomfort when you're working on it and it does have a printed border around the drills which makes it nice for framing the glue does not really go past that drill fill too much you can kind of see it right there it's just barely over the drill field so really nice quality work well done I really like them um, the upper left hand corner is where you're going to find your canvas information and the artist thumbnail, dream home, Mikey Bergman, licensing information, and the design size. So this is a 90 by 60 or 35.4 by 23.6 inch. Um, the legend on the left the legend on the right and those are offset so that if you have to flip your canvas you still have a, a decent um, readable reference point to look at down here on the bottom their lifetime guarantee paint with passion which is their motto dreamer designs in the corner the legend there the socials are up there in the right hand corner the glue sticks really well. Okay, so let's take a look at the printing of the symbols on the canvas. I've never really had much issue with their new version kits um, having illegible printing. Their symbols are very clear. Very clearly printed. Not really any issues at all with any of the symbols at least on their new version kit kits and it will say new version kits because they did um, upgrade their canvases I think like a year or two ago I don't know if it's been one year or if it's been two but they did upgrade their kits um, I think a couple years back so um, they do still have some of their old ones in stock but it'll say uh, old version or new version when you go to look on their website. And I'll have some links listed down below for you. Okay, so there is a lot of color blocking in this, um, most of which is black. <laughs> so this whole shadow edge here is one big section of black. All of this is black. Um, so there's a lot of color blocking. Color blocking means uh, larger areas where there's not a lot of color changing happening. You've also got some color blocking here. This is all the same color all the way here. Lots of big sections of color blocking. So if you like color blocking, this is a kit that I would recommend keeping your eye open for. There's some more color blocking here. There's color blocking back up in here. This is all 310, that black. Color blocking here and down in here is some color blocking. So yeah, lots of color blocking in this piece. Um, the opposite of the color blocking would be called confetti and I'm trying to find a good area of it because there is a lot of color blocking here. So let's take a look at this area of the canvas right here. So where you have all of these um, color changes, lots of color changes in small areas, that would be confetti. So there is a little bit of confetti in this, but really not a lot. There's a lot of color blocking. It's just well placed. Um, so confetti I find to be the most fun for me because it helps my painting last longer. Um, and it keeps my brain a little more engaged. There's some more confetti over here. 
the color blocking kind of gets boring for me because I single place. I don't multi-place really. So this kind of gets boring for me because I don't have to change colors as much. But I'll just work on that little bits at a time and it'll be fine. The color blocking also um, helps the canvas move quicker because you don't have to change colors very often. There's some more confetti up in here in the tree foliage. Um, but the confetti is where you're going to get a lot of your detail and a lot of your, um, what am I trying to say? That's where it's going to slow down your canvas a little bit more, but it's more detail oriented. The color blocking is not so much. So I do, I think it's a good mix of both. This canvas is probably going to go pretty quickly. Um, there is some confetti down in this pathway, um, around the windows in this tree hill area. There's some good confetti. There's some good confetti over here and over here. Um, up in the foliage on the tr leaves up in here, there's some confetti. But a lot of this is color blocking in long areas and um, lines. So it's good because it'll move quickly. But it's bad because it'll move quickly. <laughs> so that's why I don't like it. Um, let's take a look and see if we can see some of those where those ABs are going to be at. So the first AB that we had is that purple AB. And that is this weird sideways T symbol here. So we've got some ABs here. We've got some more here. We've got more, lots of it over here. And that is all the purple florals. So all the purple florals look like they're gonna be the AB. Um, we also have that pink one, which, was it pink? No, it wasn't pink. We had the orange AB, which is the scent sign. Um, and it is in the light of the window, the deeper light of the window. So it's going to create a nice warm glow in the windows, which is really nice. Um, the mint green AB is this P symbol, which let's see, I'm guessing is going to highlight some of these greenery areas, but I am not seeing oh here we go here's a batch of that right here in the water because this is kind of like a stream running through into the mountain background um the sky back in here this is all a b here so quite a bit in there um really not on the right side of the canvas much that I am seeing basically on the left so these lighter areas here in the sky and in the water that just kind of gives a hint of reflecting of greenery so that's really nice uh, the blue AB I have to look for because it looks like the hazmat symbol um, Let's see, here we go. So right in here, in the blues reflected out of the hobbit hole. Um, looks like some more over on this right side in the sky, large, large areas of that blue up in here. So that's gonna be really pretty. All this area up in here is that blue AB. That'll be really pretty in the sky. And a little bit scattered in the blue, deeper blues of the water over here. And on the highlighting of the little stream. So lots of the blue, that'll be really nice. And then that olive green AB is all through here, all through here, this darker green color. 
Um, we've got it all through the greenery in here, all along the pathway here, up in the highlight areas of the roof. So lots of that green AB. And then the last one is that buttery yellow AB, which is in the lighter highlights of the background back in here. The lighter highlights on the rooftop here. Uh, some of the lighter highlights in the windows. And that's all that butter yellow color. So that's going to be really pretty. Just reminds me of a little hobbit house. And one thing about Dreamer Designs is I know the canvas looks a little dark, but the vividness and the brightness of the artwork really pops when those drills are on there. So the canvas kind of looks a little bit dark, but it's going to be really vivid. It's going to be really pretty. That's just part of their rendering style, is that it's always a little bit darker than it actually is. But I think it's going to be gorgeous. Very Shire-esque. Makes me very happy, and it makes me proud that I finished my first semester. So, yeah, pretty good. It was a nice little reward. Glad I did it that way. Kind of made me wait and have some delayed gratification and <laughs> gave me an excuse to buy it. <laughs> so, yeah, I do like that. Um, yeah, go check them out, Dreamer Designs. They did a good job. Keep your Put this on your watch list if you love it as much as I do. And uh, y'all have fun. Stay safe. Be cool. Be kind. Peace out.